Guys, subscribe to the channel and let's get 200 likes and I'll immediately release the continuation of this story. A powerful explosion spreads through the neighborhood. After that, a powerful beam of energy hits the monster, the well. During the motion of this beam visible waves of energy are formed, indicating the overcoming of the, of the sound barrier. A huge monster growls and squirms in pain before falling to the ground. On, a young guy with brown hair and a bow in his hands lands on him. This is the hero Yang, who is an archer. He smirks as he sees the 5,910 experience coming to him. For defeating an ogre, the guy decides to get about a hundred thousand gold and then take a break. Just then he notices something strange. Turning around at the sound, the silhouette of an enormous, faintly visible in the dust, figures. When another monster points into the light, it growls. It has two heads, gray skin, and a huge club in his hands. The monster immediately strikes with his weapon at the hero, who still escapes from under the a jump attack. He survived thanks to his acceleration ability. He had to, to activate it, but there's a time limit. Ian has one minute left to finish off. Of this opponent, the two-headed man continues to throw punches, not allowing the archer to relax. The hero calls up a system window to assess his condition. He's trying to find what he's, will be able to take down this monster. Ian is not happy that he only has one trap left, but, realizes he has no other choice. The archer provokes the monster to attack, and the monster is led. He needs to get his timing right. If a hundredth of a second wrong, he'll be finished. Dodging a powerful blow of his opponent at the last moment, Yang activates the trap. The huge creature is electrocuted, not allowing them to move. At this time, the archer draws the bowstring, preparing to fire. A high discharge stun trap stunned the target for five seconds and made it vulnerable. The hero, however, realizes that this is his chance to end it all with one attack. He raises critical damage, activates a precision shot and focus. The arrow then rips off his bow on a monstrous, speeding through the monster. The system notifies that Yan has defeated the two-headed ogre, for which he received $95,000, 500 experience. The hero rejoices in his victory. He decides to approach the defeated opponent too, to see what items came off of him. The archer gets two items at once, shoulder pads, ogre warrior and ogre warrior boots. The chance of getting at least one item from an ogre warrior set of a warrior is the same as winning the lottery. The hero is very surprised to find that he has two of the item. Jan is even considering selling them. The price of such items would be, like, at least five million one. The guy notes that luck is on his side. Then Ian notices that these are not all the items he has received. He looks up and sees Mullen's Crystal. Kylan is the world's best VR game, which came out six months ago. More, 10 million active users. An incredibly popular game that is completely dominates the gaming industry. When the hero bought a VR capsule for 10 million won in order to to play Kalen, using the money his parents gave him for school and all his. The savings from his part-time job kept telling him he was crazy. Even though Ian had started playing two months after the game's release, He's pumped out an impressive archer in just four months. Hunting monsters for an archer earns him about 200,000 won per hour. That's about 14,000 rubles. The guy has already earned several million won by playing the, this game. The problem is that they recently announced an upcoming big update to the game. There's going to be added a new region and three new classes, Summoner, Dark Sorcerer, and Assassin. All players in. The Killens were overjoyed at this news, but there was one nuance. A guy with red hair and a very pumped up figure notes that they should have everything. You have to remove your current character in order to start playing as a new class. And they've gone too far. A brunette who was a head shorter than him, with a lean build, notes that they will just go hunting and collecting items when a new region comes up. And maybe they'd be able to make some money for tuition, if they were lucky. That was their plan. Crystal, Milana is an item that can unlock access to a hidden class from an NPC. It's incredible, is a valuable item, so the hero is very lucky to have it. The problem is, it could be, use only characters below 10th level who have not undergone a class change. Ian is sad that he only got this crystal now, and if it could be, if he sold it, he'd definitely get more than 10 million one, but that's unacceptable. It's about 710,000 rubles. The guy will have to delete his character if he wants it use, but how can he remove it after getting all that money? Jan seriously, wonders what he should do. The hero decides to consult with his friend. He believes that Yang is mocking him by saying he wants to remove his 93 archer level. His character is one of the best in Korea, and he himself is in the top 1000 players and top 100 among all players. Of archers, is the guy willing to lose everything? 
The hero points out that he knows it all himself, but is a chance to unlock the first hidden class among new classes, so he can't just to throw the item away. Friend says that he must already know a little about the new hidden classes, which are revealed. For example, they have a player with the sniper class in their guild. Jan notices that he knows him, because they had recently gone hunting with him. The comrade decides to clarify whether he thinks that this one, the sniper is much better than his archer. The hero replies that they have a pretty big difference in the levels, so he can't say for sure, but that class definitely has an advantage over the an archer. Young explains that their attack range is incredible, and their attack power is very high, but the, the snipers are paying the price for that speed. He can assume that he's going to be. It's hard to fight a large crowd of weak mobs. The comrade agrees, emphasizing that what he meant to say was that even if it's a hidden class, it's a doesn't mean he's going to be better. The hero knows that, then the redhead is completely. I don't understand why he still wants to lose everything and start from scratch, because Jan can easily to earn a million one a day just by hunting. The character addresses the other person by name. His name is Yu Hyun. He decides to find out why he's playing this game. His friend is a little confused of such a question, but still answers that it's fun. This is the main answer in Jan's opinion. So discovering a new hidden class will definitely be a lot of fun. Comrade smiles while saying that he won't stop him, but he should try. The events carry over into the game. The hero approaches a merchant sitting on a scarlet carpet. The man asks what he wants. Yan is looking for a rebirth potion. The peddler sneers, stating that the one got lucky and came to the right place. The merchant takes out a clear vial of red liquid, claiming he only got it. He holds it out to the hero, but when he takes it, Rebirth in his hands, the interlocutor grabs him by the hand. He asks if the guy knows that is A. Once he drinks it, he'll lose all the power he's gained, and it'll never come back. Ian remarks, that's why he's going to drink it. The archer sits on the edge of a cliff under the light of the full moon. He took the most expensive potion of rebirth. Maybe he'd even have better attributes if he was lucky. The potion, the rebirth was brewed by ancient alchemists. Once consumed, the character will be, is completely reset and his level and all attributes will be reset as well. Ian would like to believe that with, with the new class, he's gonna make even more money than he does now. The guy's gonna be with, and then drinks the rebirth potion. The system immediately reports that the hero was, is jettisoned, as are all its trappings. The events are moved to the training center of the city of Trambone. Several people are training at, Dumb is practicing their sword skills. They are watched by a man with a bald spot on his head and a thick gray beard on his face. He is amazed at the skills of one newcomer. The hero strikes, hits a training opponent, and the system tells you that his dexterity attribute has been increased by A. Alone, thanks to training, he had survived damage that was close to his limit, so, survivability increased by one. He was enlightened by long meditation, which made his IQ increased by one. The people around him watch Jan with shock. They don't know if he's even human, because he's already practicing for days without rest. They have never seen such a diligent student. This is a true adventurer seeking true power. The hero, however, rejoices in the fact that tomorrow, the update is finally coming out. The next day, Ian gets into his play capsule. It performs a retinal scan, eyes, after which he welcomes the player Ian to Kalen. Appearing in the city, the hero decides to first, to find the summoner's guild. The guy quickly finds the place he wants, after which he enters the, the room. No one turns up inside. The guy assumes he'll be the first. He descends the steps to the second floor, where, in a handsome room with two shelves of books, his guild master Kane is waiting. This is the center of the summoner's class change. The hero informs me that he wants to change his class to summoner. Kane replies that it's a very difficult path, because to run a with fierce monsters is not for everyone. Ian replies that he knows that, but also believes that this class is as strong as it is challenging. To master, the guild leader can't argue with him, so he informs him that he is suitable. Candidate. The man decides to ask one last time if the hero definitely wants to change his class to A. The summoner. Ian gives a positive answer without a second thought. The hero retrieves the crystal that makes, and decided to change grades, assuming now was a good time to pass it. Kane is stunned looks at the artifact that the hero presents to him, noting that it is a crystal left behind by the hero of the continent by Mullen. Ian cheerfully says that the guild master knows about him. The guild master replies that the guy is much more interesting than he thought. Ian is already eager to get his hidden class. Kane asks if the hero can do a favor for him. He replies that he would do anything 
A man says that a blue-eyed wolf has recently appeared in the plains of Ramad, and his son has recently changed class to summoner and said he wanted to make the blue-eyed wolf his own. By a familiar, the hero quickly realizes where this is going, which makes him very tense. The man wants Yong to capture him. The thing is, the blue-eyed wolf is a rare monster a level above. The 40th, it's not at all clear to the guy why such a strong monster is involved in a shift quest. Of the level 10 player class, Kane reports that he is busy with his duties, so he does not, will be able to go on his own. He is ashamed to say it, but his son is too weak to restrain such a one. Monster, the guild master hands the hero five magical scrolls of binding, summoning tedium. The wolf is hard as possible and then bind them. In addition, the man explains that the wolf, who appeared in the plains of Ramad is still young, so he shouldn't be too strong. The system alerts the hero to a mission to capture a blue-eyed wolf in the plains of Ramad. It's coming, a brief explanation, which is nothing new. The difficulty of the quest is E and the reward is class. The summoner is a monster tamer. The system gives the guy the option of accepting or rejecting. Quest, the hero notices the reward and realizes that this is his hidden class. He accepts, informing him that he will bring the monster at any cost to him. The guild master thanks in advance. The guy, hoping he'll come back with good news. Kane also says that if he doesn't, will succeed. Then he should return to him immediately so he can issue him back up. Ian wonders if the quest won't be lost if he fails at once. Guy decides he's going to do it. The monsters on the plains of Ramad average level 10. Even, if it is a blue-eyed wolf, it must not be too strong, for it is still young, and though it has a. Jana is level 10, his attributes are closer to level 30 players. He has a good chance of. Victory. After opening the system window, the guy decides to take a look at this stallion. He finds him at. With the help of a mission, Ian is surprised that his opponent is level 20. To him, that's not. Important because his attributes are high but he really should fight a level 20 on them. At level 10, he's getting curious, hidden class quests are always so difficult. Jian, a little relieved that he wouldn't have to worry that he wouldn't die from one hit. It could happen like a level 10 blue-eyed wolf. The hero sneaks up on the monster from behind and shoots an arrow at it. The monster roars in pain, turning toward the boy. When the blue-eyed wolf snaps in his direction, Ian almost automatically draws an arrow, but quickly comes to his senses, for the monster may not to survive that shot. As the monster rushes toward him, the former archer gives it serious thought, what he should do then. The monster opens his mouth, he flies the hero's fist into his cheek. He does, a step back, trembling with fear. Yang decides to beat him up first. He even forgot that he was good at it. To swing his fists, the hero starts hitting the monster, and the system reminds him that the monster's health level must drop to a certain level before binding. After giving the poor wolf carcass a good beating, Ian decides to use the binding, however it has passed. Unsuccessfully, the hero highly doubts that the monster will survive another blow from him, so he is. We have to decide what to do. The blue-eyed wolf rises on four paws, shaking his head. Jen decides, feed the monster a piece of meat so that it can heal a bit and not die from its blows. The guy literally forcibly pushed the food into the monster's mouth. When the meal was over, the hero informed him that it was time to return to the beating. Despair appeared in the monster's eyes. After a while, Ian uses the binding again for a while. The scroll absorbs the carcass of the poor and tormented one, the blue-eyed wolf. The hero rejoices that he has finally managed to tie up the monster after the which he noted that beating always works. The guy realizes that he has wasted quite a bit of time. He assumes he's already spent a lot. The users have changed their class to summoner. He needs to hurry up. Ian comes to the guild, then says it wasn't an easy task, and the wolf was very stubborn, but he succeeded. To restrain him, these words shock Cain. He even interrogates if this is definitely true. The hero responds positively, asking if something is wrong. The guild master says it's unbelievable. It turns out that the first monster tamer quest should have been failed, but the guy's got a handle on him. Ian decides to find out if now he can become the monster tamer. Kane declares that he is not suited for the monster tamer class. The hero does not understands exactly what he's talking about. The man suggests that Jan follow the path of the master. The system alerts the hero that the guild master is impressed with his potential, so he wants to instruct them. He's on the path of a master. Ian starts climbing the system. He'd never heard of a class change quest like this before. Is rigged. The system suggests he become a master tamer. The hero assumes that the master of taming is much higher level than monster tamer. Yong decides to become a master. Taming. The system alerts you to the creation of several new attributes, attraction, 
Taming and Leadership, and the hero becomes the first master of taming. Ian has become a master tamer. He is pleased that the first thing he must do is to tame the summoned one of the beast. He wants to tame the bloody wolf like he did in the trailer. Guy wants to be the first. In Kaelin, upon entering the plane, the hero is frozen in place. Several humans attempt to tame. Blood Wolf. Ian quickly realizes that they have already transferred to a new summoner class. The hero didn't think anyone would be quicker than him, but he decides to see how things are going. Several players attack a monster. One of them notices that the monster's health is practically at, so they decide to seal him up. The magician begins to conjure in an attempt to capture it, however. The Blood Wolf frees himself by breaking free, taking off at a run. Ian realizes that these guys are probably already met the Blood Wolf after they lost him. He's even glad that he was able to observe them, for he drew the simple conclusion of capturing a monster of high rank in, and it takes a long time to find them. The hero suggests that it's better to start by catching them. Any monster he encounters, he gets curious as to how many wolves he can capture with his, an indicator and leadership. Ian finds groups of wolves, after which he attacks one of them, bringing the monster down hard. He successfully captures it. He is presented with information about the monster, which is available only to the tamer. Health 75 out of 75, attack 23, defense 12, dexterity 19, intelligence 8, type, beast, class, common, personality, timid, can't evolve. It's a common wolf, living in the grasslands. It has fast legs and sharp fangs. The hero pays close attention for information on identity. It surprises him that monsters have them at all. Ian finds another wolf and tames him as well, after which he decides to take a look at his identity. Most, the characteristics fluctuate by 1 minus 2 points, but that one's personality is witty. In addition to that, a nimble wolf. Ian notices that this monster has the same level as the previous one, but its attributes are noticeable, and it's called something else. The conclusion is self-evident. Monsters of the same type and level can have different attributes. After spotting a mob of wolves, the guy decides to see which one of these wolves are the highest attributes. Jan decides to look into the matter in more detail. To do so, catches wolves all day long, and he will capture those wolves that will have the highest attributes. After a string of successful captures, his attribute attraction increases by one. Guy, warming up, realizing there's still a lot of work to be done. In the end, he wins the title, Wolf Specialist for Capturing More Wolves. This title allows him, determine the strongest wolves without a tackle. Ian complains a bit that they couldn't have done it that way, for all monsters, though he quickly comes to the conclusion that he's asking for too much. The hero activates his analysis, after which he runs his gaze over the wolves. All of them have a level, ranging from 10 to 12. Then another wolf caught his eye. This one is level 11, but the system claims to have the strongest attributes, highlighting information about him. With a golden color, Ian heads towards this wolf, then repeats the same procedure as with the by the others. The boy is surprised by the monster's attributes, for those are beyond all expectation. They're in twice the size of its kin, and the monster can evolve. The news that a simple wolf is capable of evolution surprises the guy. Guy lets the rest of the wolves go, deciding to to focus only on training this monster. Jan gives his pet a new name, Lai. Tom likes the name. The system is alerting that. Intimacy with Lai increased and his loyalty increased by five. The attribute of loyalty is a little. Strikes the hero, but he recovers quickly. He decides to go hunting with Lai. Via. This time, a friend of the heroes notices that their Lotus Guild has become much weaker since Jin Sun left. Remembering that the man said he was changing his class to conscript. He decides to take a look at his progress and see if these guys are any good in combat. He goes to the forum where they are discussing the new class. He's considered complete garbage. Red doesn't like this site, so he decides to go to another one. There, the guy says he became a summoner after the servers started. It's a class he felt like. Very entertaining, but there is a very big drawback. The summoners gain experience very slowly. His summon creature takes some experience, so his level increases very slowly. Many complain about this flaw, dropping a class and choosing a darker one. A sorcerer. The guy notes that this is just the beginning, so naturally there will be a lot of complaints. But everyone's looks pretty sad. Red quickly grasps the situation and realizes that his. It may indeed take a long time for a comrade to reach level 20 which is required to enter the guild. Meanwhile, in Kaelin, the hero, hunting with the, with his pet, finally reaches level 20. Yang urges Lu to attack the enemy the moment he releases his arrow. Hero, activates the blessing of the wind, increasing his dexterity by 37%, then, 
wounds the fox with an accurate shot. Lu quickly approaches the monster, and then digs into the fox. Side. The guy notes that his pet has lower attributes than a red fox, but he lunges at the her without any fear. He assumes it's all because of his personality. By praising Lu, Yan fires a second arrow, killing the monster. The wolf and hero each get 265 experience. This news doesn't exactly stress the hero out, but he quickly makes a decision to get Lu to at least level 15. He will activate the beginner's training, after which asks Lu to do some basic commands. Your pet's potential improves with each training session. The current potential was equal to 65. The hero also used first aid on him, increasing his health by 45 points. Just like that, slowly and gradually, the wolf reached the 15th level. It's instantaneous. It increased in size, becoming larger than its owner by half a head. Ian realized that they were a swing slower than he thought, but it's clear they share the experience earned between the two. But the hero has a lot of fun training with Lou. He becomes much stronger with each step by increasing the level. After looking at their status, the hero decides that they will now go bear hunting. Now that Lu has reached the 15th level, they can go to the next location to hunt. System notifies that the initial summon has been upgraded to the second level thanks to an improvement. Ian also learned the active ability blessing of the berserker warrior and one of the most powerful skills. Passive ability a beginner tactic. The guy concludes that they didn't grind for nothing so it's time to take a look at new abilities. Grinding is the repeated actions of players, aimed at obtaining in-game benefits. The Berserker Warrior's blessing increases. Attack the hero and his companions by 30%, and for pets this increase is all 100%. Ian notes that this is a very good amplification ability. He decides to take a look at the second one. The ability. Ta permanently increases leadership and taming attributes by 10 percentages, as well as the understanding of orders in battle for Lu increases. After seeing the description, abilities, the hero rejoices in this, assuming that he is already able to capture the bear. Now the tamer looks around at the monsters, wondering if there's anyone stronger than Lu. Hero captures one of the bears, starting to evaluate its attributes and compare them with Lu's. The bear has a 38th level, but the attributes of Lu, who has only the 15th level, exceed it. The hero also notices that Lu can evolve. It becomes, I wonder when this will happen. Ian lets go of the bear, deciding it's time to farm. He uses the warrior's blessing. Berserk and wind blessing. They encounter a bear. The hero orders Lu to attract. Attention to that. The pet goes around the monster, then bites the clumsy bear by the neck. The bear rises to its full height, forcing Lu to step back. He continues for a while. Dance around the bear, inflicting wounds. It only makes the monster angry. Ian is aware that this tactic. The newbie is really good because the pet perfectly understands what he needs from Lu. They're winning. The bear, Lu's level is over 19. Lu shares his master's joy by starting to howl. Yang notes that Lu needs to keep growing, and then he will not be equal. Hero mentally makes a note that they are pumping too slowly, so he will need to take quests when he reaches level 20. The hero decides to finish for today, emphasizing that the life of a nerd requires careful planning. The guy goes to the shower and when finishes with water treatments, decides to check the forum before going to bed, including the computer. The hero already predicts that some losers are definitely complaining right now. He starts reading. Reviews about how useless the summoner is, because his pumping is too slow, and summoned creatures are too weak. Ian doesn't deny it, but there's too much whining. The hero is more interested in reviews from people who have reached the 15th level and above, because that's when the summoner's skills start to improve. Ian looks around the forum, but there are such people. There are no players, he's level 20. He believes that players are above the 15th level. It should be a lot. The guy finds someone who has the 13th level, testing his skills. 
he finds capture, wind blessing, first aid. Ian has the same skills. Then he notices that that summoner has an obsession. This ability allows you to absorb the pet's soul. After taking away 30% of the creature's attributes, however, the absorbed creature can't be removed. Summon in battle. Ian does not deny that this ability is good and it is bred for everyone. Summoner, since the experience is not split up and leveling is much faster, but also. The disadvantages of this ability are obvious. Why would you consume a pet that can fight on its own? The hero also notices that and attributes are not fully passed. Ian believes that the most interesting thing for a summoner is level up with your pet and this skill erases this feature. He doesn't have this one, the ability, but he doesn't really want it. Here the hero realizes that the abilities of ordinary people, summoners are different from him. Then he must have abilities that ordinary people don't have. Summoners. Ian decides to gather a small amount of information to summarize. The Taming Master has less combat abilities than a normal summoner, but it's easier for him to level up his own. A pet. If he understood everything correctly, then he is moving in the right direction. He. Thinking about capturing a monster of a rare or unique class. After getting some sleep. A few hours later, Ian returns to the game. He wants to upgrade Lu to level 20 before. After the sun rises, appearing in the world of the game, the guy immediately activates several. Abilities Wind Blessing Berserk Warrior Blessing. After that, it activates. A beginner's training session. Lu takes it out on the bear while the hero tries to find vulnerabilities. Using a special skill, they very quickly deal with the moon bear getting 545 experience points. Ian is surprised at how quickly they overcame the enemy because he couldn't pass for an archer. Hunts until he reaches level 35. The hero's farming speed is significantly higher than that of the previous generation. Then, moving deeper into the forest, they kill several bears. Then the hero notices that one monster is much bigger than the others. The hero makes an assessment of the opponent, and this is Cole, Black Moon Bear, which is a unique monster. Ian decides to try. Capture it. The system notifies that his lead is too low to catch this one. Creature. The guy swears, remembering that he let go of the last bear, but his leadership is all. Not enough yet. Ian jumps away from the monster's impact, noticing what he will need to buy. More magic binding scrolls when he's in town. Lou pounces on the huge bear without any fear or hesitation. Hero mentally. Notices that now that the pet fights almost as well as it does, the monsters are 30. The 8th level is not a problem. After defeating a unique monster, they get a thousand apiece. 45 experience. The level of Lu increases to the 20th. Full features in Kylan. Open only after reaching the 20th level. This includes registering with the guild, dungeons, imperial quests, and more. Ian decides to take a look at the items he received. He got Moon Bear Meat, Bear Hunter's Warhammer, Jet Black, Necklace. The hero has never seen a similar item before. He decides to use the scroll. Identification to make an assessment. The charcoal black necklace has the following features. Stats. Durability 124 to 124. Survival option 15%. Time reduction. Cooldown of all abilities 20%. The discharge is unique. The necklace requires 30. Five intelligences to use. This necklace is of unknown origin. It is created from obsidian as black as the deep. It looks insanely expensive. Ian had a nice necklace from the auction, but this is much better. This is his first good loot since the reset point. After evaluating all the items, the guy decides to take a look at how much they have increased. Lu attributes. He starts to see that attack has increased by four, defense by two, and so on. The information received puzzles the guy. Usually, monsters become significantly stronger with level up, but something doesn't add up. There is no pattern in the growth rate. 
It's like they made it completely random. Ian is trying to figure out how it works. Through. After a few minutes of thinking, the tamer finds the answer to his question. The whole secret is to... Potential. Beginner training increases the potential of Lou. Every time the potential increases by 10, the growth rate of attributes increases. The guy realizes that the training session. A beginner has too much of an advantage. The hero was right. The hidden class has unique abilities. Thus, each a monster has a potential attribute which determines the growth rate of its attributes when level up. In other words, the class of the monster itself increases thanks to the potential and the beginner's training ability boosts it. Ian decides to spend all of his skill points, a beginner's training session. Beginner training increases to the fifth level and turns into an average workout. It takes 25 minutes to recharge. Selected summoned creature gets the training status for 15 minutes. For a pet with a similar status, it improves. Understanding the host's commands, the pet's potential will increase with repeated actions. Training sessions. As your potential increases, your average training ability will increase. The hero is happy that he did not spend skill points to capture that bear. The guy is pleased that he solved this riddle. Right now, Lou's potential is 94, right? But it may soon become equal to 100. The hero bites his lip, noticing that he has spent a whole hour. They need to gain experience faster. If only he'd been as diligent about his studies. I'd probably be a doctor or lawyer by now. Ian takes a sandwich while sitting at the computer, noting that there's no point in thinking about it now. Then he notices that a video of the Dark Wizard has been released. He he sees a black-robed mage with a long gray beard who controls hordes of skeletons. Here, his phone starts ringing. Ian is tense because no one is supposed to call him, and even there. Unknown phone number. He gets a call from a teacher's assistant in the Korean Virtual Reality Department. University Lee Jihae. He asks if the guy is familiar with Professor Lee Jin Wook. I know him because he is the head professor of the department. The interlocutor is asked to call to the professor. The hero doesn't understand why. The man says that most likely it's his grades. The guy flies up on the spot, fearing that he will be expelled from the university. Ian decides to find out what will happen if he doesn't call the professor. The girl notes that then his, I'll send my grades home, and of course it's not about his place of residence. The hero is tense, afraid. Even imagine what would happen if his father saw his grades. Most likely, he will be forced to return. Home at the peak of his youth, branded a disappointment by his family. The guy says that he will call. To Tom. The other person notices that this is a great solution, so they will see you in the next one. During the semester. He searches for the professor's number, then gathers up the courage to call. Hero. It is presented, after which the man recognizes the new student. Ian tries to find out what he would like from him. The professor asks, but the guy doesn't know. He admits that it's all because of ratings. The interlocutor agrees, wondering if everything is fine with him. It is important for the professor to know. Why doesn't he participate in the life of the faculty at all and still manage to be on the doorstep? deductions at the end of the first semester. The guy assumes that this is due to two failures in a row. The professor agrees with this, emphasizing that he is now thinking about pudding. It's his third. The hero suddenly realizes that he is just being threatened, and he does not know why. Jan decides to find out what he needs to do. The professor asks you to come up with a way to get out of it first from the fact that he does not participate in the life of the faculty in any way. The guy just can't say that's all. Time sits in the game. Then Ian comes up with an excuse. It says that the reason it chose. The faculty of virtual reality is that it admires unlimited potential. Virtual reality. The interlocutor demands to continue, feeling that the idea is not finished. The guy clarifies isn't one of the reasons for the popularity of virtual reality a game. Kalen. 
After a positive response, Jan informs us that he has decided to study virtual reality. Reality from within. The professor decides to clarify the situation, so he says that he does not come to university because I spent my days playing the game. The hero notes that he did not just play, but I explored the incredibly detailed virtual world available in Kylan. The man decides to find out what the guy's level is. This question puts the guy in a stupor, so the interlocutor explains that if he worked so hard, then he should have got into the rating. The best players in Korea. Ian is tense because if he didn't delete his character, then everything would be fine. It would have been different. He decides to tell the truth that he originally had a 93rd level up, but due to the fact that he recently dropped his character, he is now at the 20th level. Level. The professor thinks that the guy is taking him for a fool and then asks if he thinks so. That because he speaks with such confidence, he can avoid problems. The hero is also really trying to avoid problems. He offers to argue. The professor is surprised by this A. Eh? The hero wants to prove during the argument that he is not lying. The point of the argument is that Ian will try to reach level 93 before the semester starts, which means that it will prove that he had one. The professor agrees, admitting that he sometimes plays poker himself. Kalen, so if he can do it, it will solve his problems with school, but what if he can't? If it turns out, then he will not only go for a retake, but also the man will have a conversation with his partner, parents about his future. The professor notes that the guy still needs to participate in life, faculty, and if he wins the argument, he will give him a credit in their subjects, regardless of from the session. The professor is just sure that the guy will screw up. The hero doubts that the man, he keeps his word, but the other person convinces him otherwise. Ian declares that he will try his best, with all his might and thanks for the opportunity. After talking to the professor, the guy, it is sent to the game. He says they will have to work hard. In fact, he planned to return it anyway. His previous level until the end of the semester, and since he has avoided retakes, he will be able to. To do this, it will also get credits without visits. The hero has a lot of motivation to do. This, the guy decides to join the guild first. It is sent to a special place where it is stored. A round, mustachioed man is waiting. Having expressed his desire, the guy gets the answer that he should. Reach the 20th level, after which the mob specifies which guild he wants to join. Hero. Names the Lotus Guild. The man is straining because the desired level for joining the, the Lotus Guild is 60, but he can post his entry request, however not at all sure that it will be considered. The hero still intends to apply because the guild leader is his best friend, and it's close to all the main members, so it's not important. The man reports that he placed its join request so that it will be automatically registered when the guild master will accept it. Yang is about to text Yu Haiyang to accept the request, but Yu Haiyang is offline, guy. He's in no hurry, and he'll accept it anyway, so he goes to the auction house. He, he wants to buy some gear. This is one of the advantages of being a successful player. He's going to swap out his gear for the best items he can find. Bonus features. The summoner's class attributes are not added to their combat attributes, but the summoner's attributes are not added to their combat attributes. Helping with summoning, such as taming. The hero understands that sooner or later the pets, they will become its main power. For this reason, the guy wants to search for items that improve the attributes of his pet. For example, an item that is enchanted for reinforcement. Jam. Pay attention to Mother Nature's armband. Ta increases survival rate by 25% but it requires the 25th level. The item has two unique abilities. First, everything. Pets receive a 20% survival bonus and a 15% attack boost. In second, the pet's chance of dodging a projectile increases by 5%. The Taming Master buys this item for 150,000 gold. He is happy that 
Summoner items were finally starting to sell. He decides to check if there is other Mother Nature items for the summoner. He types in the search and finds more, him. Mother Nature's staff comes across. It has the following characteristics. Attack from 150 to 165. Strength 201 out of 201. Add 21 points to intelligence. Add 35 points to leadership. Add 20 points to attract. The weapon has a heroic discharge and requires a special strength and the 20th level. The staff has two unique abilities. All pets get 30 points. 5% attack boost, pet's critical hit chance increases by 15%. The guy faces a dilemma because he is used to using a bow. He still decides to buy a staff because he just can't use a bow forever. It's still pretty early, but he should be getting started. Start getting used to a different battle style. As Ian picks up the staff, he feels a certain amount of tension and inconvenience. The hero summons Lu, deciding to use medium training. This skill works, even in cities, so it's best to use it immediately after the rollback. Master of Taming. He smiles, realizing that it's time for quests. While the hero is moving around the city, many people laugh at him, believing that he has a pathetic pet. A wolf that probably has a low level, but someone remembers that the leveling level is low. The summoner's price is very low, so he doesn't even think that the kid has reached the 15th level. Level? Ian ignores all these statements. He's about to go on a mopping up quest. Goblin camps. During the quest, the goblin experience is doubled. He wants to get. The whole experience is one. The hero finds an NPC for the quest and then greets Raphael. That stops him with a hand gesture. The hero is already thinking about what his relationship with the characters is like. We're dropped as the man recognizes Ian. This news pleases Ian, so he clarifies there was no. Don't they have any problems with goblins? The man tells what he was just about to say. That they were having some problems with the goblin camp because their cleanup team didn't coped with them. The man asks if he knows a good mercenary who will help them. The guy declares that he will personally deal with this. The man is surprised, noting that this would be great, but still advises you to take someone else with you. The hero doesn't have time to get enough of it. Quest, as it recognizes that it is a group activity. He is trying to figure out who to invite, but in the end, he does not know who to invite. Guilds are unlikely to have newcomers below level 40. He asks to postpone the quest with Raphael, that agrees to do it for him, after which he offers to take care of the goblin scouts. As a reward, the hero will receive a leather vigilante armor. The hero accepts the quest and the man tells him that it will help him a lot. The guy is not very happy because the road there and back, it will take about 30 minutes. Yang decides to check the status to see if Li Yu Haiyun is online in the network. Does Hearst show up? A small correspondence ensues between them. The friend is surprised at what he has already received. The 20th level. A friend accepts Ian's request, determined to find out how he got there so quickly. The 20th level, because the dark sorcerers, who are known for their high-speed pumping, are still. We didn't get to the 20th level. The hero notices that he will soon catch up with him, so he should. To prepare, Hearst asks you to hurry up because it's a little difficult without him. Jan decides to also find out if there are any. They have someone level 40 in the guild. After receiving a negative answer, the guy reports that he will deal with the problem himself. He decides to go to the guild chat and find an assistant because this is a good idea. Better than someone on the left. Many people are surprised by Jan's return. They are amazed that he already has. The 20th level. The guy decides to find out if there is someone of the 40th level here. Hurst, though, decides to find out why he's looking for level 40. Ian wonders if he should tell him that he's going to go on a quest with the goblins on the mountain. The 20th level. The guy reports everything as it is. He just needs someone to stand in the doorway. Stay away while he takes care of the goblins. 
Fiolan asks how he is going to deal with Quest Goblin Camp and even alone. Carwin thinks the guy is just trying. Exit at the expense of a high-level player. Moreover, the guy assumes that Ian picked it up like that. Your 20th level. Cloven states that if Ian wanted to speed up at the expense of high, of course, he would have asked for them instead of looking for the 40th level. Carvin reports that their quests are. You can't get it if you don't have a level 10 card. Ian notices that he is indeed level 20, but he has a very strong pet. Therefore, he thinks that he can complete the quest alone, and to be more precise, he will complete it. A pet is responsible for it. Cloven says it looks like luck is on his side. Fiolan says this is explains how he got to level 20 so quickly. Carwin replies that he has a friend. About level 45. Jan wants to meet him. Carwin tells me that she has production grade, so her combat abilities are a bit strange. The hero doesn't care. He she only specifies what her class is. Carwin tells me that her battle class is Priestess and I'm a chef. This class surprises the hero. Carwin says it's unlikely she's in combat. It will be useful and it is not very good in games. For Jan, this is not critical, so he asks. Text her to let him know when she's in the game. Carwin is still hesitant about doing anything. A friend. Besides, you just need someone to start the quest. He doesn't care which ones he has. Skills. Chapter 17 continued. The hero liked to correspond with the guild members, but not as much as grind. Jan decides. Deal with the previous quest before Carwin texts him. The guy is sent to. Location of the task. There it houses cheetahs. These are level 30 monsters. Corkuns. The hero notes that it would be nice to take possession of such a monster because Lou is not enough. A bit of coolness. The wolf, as if hearing his words, turns around and starts walking away. Let's hope he doesn't hear his thoughts. Ian tries to convey to the pet the idea that it is very dear to him. Lou gives off a quiet threat. The hero realizes that he is really upset. Suddenly, energy begins to build up around the wolf. Wind currents raise dust in the air, Ian tries to figure out what's going on, when he already begins to guess about. If this happens, then the evolution of Lu is completed. Energy flows around the wolf. The news about the reincarnation of the pet pleases the hero, but he needs to. Its principles are still unclear. He wants to know why Lu is evolving now, and how much. The requirement for this has now been met. Ian quickly finds the answer to this question. The pet's potential has reached 100 units. He wonders how much will change. Lou's appearance after evolution. He hopes that Lou will get bigger so that he can ride on him. When the evolution process ends, Lou transforms into a wolf with a blood red mane. This results in the average workout being increased to the next level and up to. The next level is just over 50% left. Also fame has been increased by a thousand, and his leadership and taming by thirty. For being Ian the first summoner bloodily. Red Wolf, he gets another fifteen hundred glory points. Seeing Lu's changes, the hero happily declares that he loves him. Now Lu has the following. Stats. Survival rate 790 out of 790, attack 255, defense 97, agility 215, intelligence. 135, type predatory beast, rank rare, personality brave, can evolve. Lu. Get unique abilities. Vampirism, equal to 15% of the damage. Inflicted on opponents. This skill increases to 50% in the event of a critical hit. Impact. Also, in the case of a critical strike. The enemy is superimposed with bleeding, during which the enemy is hit. Actions that will cause the enemy to take 20% damage every second. A ferocious wolf with a mystical red mane has a very aggressive temperament. Ian is happy. The fact that the rank has changed and also he likes the fact that his pet can still evolve because most likely its rank will change to a unique one with another one. Evolution. 
Ian laughs, concluding that this class is somehow abnormal. He pats Lou's mane, stating that he wouldn't have chosen Corkun even if there were a million of them. After that, it specifies whether it will be able to lie Lou carry it on his back. The wolf has not grown too much, so he falls on his stomach, offering take a seat for the owner. Lou takes off instantly. They reach the Sommer Canyon. This, a very dark place the hero doesn't understand why there is such realism in Kalen. He gets off his bike. Pet, noticing that he has to deal with ten goblin scouts. Guy, notes that when Lou became so cool, they can't stop there. It overlays on. Wind blessing Pet, increasing its agility by 37%, and the Berserker Warrior's Blessing, which increases the hero's attack by 33% and Lu's attack is at 66%. Ian points to the three goblins, telling Lu to attack them first and he will follow. With with all the power-ups, Lu's attributes can't be any less than those of some pathetic goblins. More. Moreover, its combat AI should be incomparable to normal monsters. AI Artificial intelligence. Do not forget about the two unique abilities of Lu, but the hero does not dare. Relax, because there can always be problems. A wolf with a blood-red mane activates the skill. Finding a vulnerability. It easily finds a weak point, which increases its accuracy by 15%, critical hit chance increases to 22%, and appearance bonus damage when hitting a weak spot, which is 91%. Percent. Goblins are startled by the appearance of a blood wolf. Lu plunges into the first man's throat. A green person, dealing critical damage and causing them to bleed. Goblin Scout. Dies, and the hero gets 1210 experience points. The hero is surprised by this development. Of course, a level 40 monster died with a single blow. Lou snarls furiously, and one of the goblins responds in kind, then delivers a powerful blow to the ground. Lou, with his baton, deals 294 damage. The wolf strikes back, knocking down 495 health points to your opponent and restoring yourself to 75 lives. Lou lands two more hits, restoring about 150 health points and killing another goblin scout. With a quick jerk, the wolf closes the distance with the last one. Deals critical damage to the enemy. The hero admires his pets and thanks them for his efforts. He caresses Lou for a bit, then notices that it's time for a second one. The round. While the hero is resting, his pet deals with monsters of the 40th level in. Alone. Carwin texts Ian, wanting to know if he's okay and if they can talk. The hero recalls his pet. After that, a conversation starts between the guild members that the girl with the cook class is now online and she agreed to help. Carvin calls. The name is Heron and asks to write to her. The friend still has doubts because she does not know how to fight. The hero grins, not understanding who he thinks he is. Jan asks you to stop. Worry about him because he just cleaned out the Sommer Canyon single-handedly. Carvin didn't answer right away. He remembers what kind of place it is. He pounces on the former archer with a bunch of questions. Is it coming? It's about the goblin camp and whether it hunts alone. Jan gives a positive answer, saying that he is. Killed all the goblin scouts in the outer camps and raised five levels in half a day. Carwin is in shock. He doesn't understand how this is possible. He already thinks that he's using some kind of device, cheats or bugs, emphasizing that it will not be able to help him if he is banned. The hero replies that he doesn't use anything like this, so don't worry about him. Carwin notes that at this rate, Yong will soon truly return to his previous level. Jan asks you to wait two months. He is already eager to reach the hundredth level during this time in his plans to reach the 50th. Level up in 15 days and then conquer the 80th in another 15. The second month, it will take you to reach the 100th level. Thus, the guy will definitely win the argument, which is very strong. It will help him solve problems with his studies, 
The hero meets Heron and finds out where she is now. The girl replies that she is now at the blacksmith of the city of Lucan. She wants to fix her gear. Jan asks her to stay put. He'll be there in 10 minutes. Ian gets to the meeting point, greeting the girl. She also greets him, noting that, I've heard a lot about him from Carwin. The hero asks if they are friends with him. The beauty puts on a finger to the lips, saying that they are something like close companions. Haran replies that she is ready. Move out at any moment because she has already finished training, after which she clarifies that the hero with. By this, he is also ready to move out. He's still curious to know if she has a special personality. Reason to complete this quest with the goblin camp. Haran explains that there is a quest that she wants to complete. She wants to get busy, but to do this, she needs to complete a quest with the camp. We are talking about a quest from Duke Trappin's castle quest, which she needs to complete in order to enter the castle. The hero wonders why she even needs the chef's quest. Beauty says her craftsman class. The cook. Jan admits that he heard from Carwin that she has a cooking class. Haran admits that in fact, in fact, in real life, she is also a cook. The hero notes that he has heard that this is not the simplest class, but it should be a little easier for her since she does it in reality. The beauty declares, which is even more fun. The guy mentally emphasizes that your real skills affect the fact that how good are you in game classes? The hero confesses that she is the first chef, the one he met. He asks her to cook something delicious for him next time. Haran agrees. They return to Raphael. He notes that he has found the second member of the squad and let the usual. We need more people, he doesn't doubt Ian's skills. The game character notices that the main group had just left, so they might catch up if they hurried. He advises, act together. Jan notices that the task description has changed slightly, which is most likely due to his delay, but the rewards remained the same. This pleases the guy. He clarifies. Did Haran get the quest? Ta gives a positive answer, after which the hero declares that it's time to hit the road. He calls Lu into his world. Noticing the girl's reaction, he asks not to worry, saying that this is his pet, not a monster. These words introduce the beauty to stupor. She doesn't quite understand what a pet means. Then Heron realizes that a summoner is standing in front of her. She says that since the appearance of only a couple of days of new classes have passed, and he has already taken on such a difficult quest. The hero responds that he was just a little lucky because this wolf is not quite ordinary so he can quickly level up and his strength is more than enough for a bunch of goblins. Jan notices in his mind that this is it was a terrible excuse, but if he said that he was only level 25, then she would. I don't think she believed me. Haran envies him, because with her 45th level, she still runs away. When facing goblin scouts, Ian is at a loss, because the interlocutor is so easy. I believed him. The hero says that this is due to his skills as a craftsman, because the cook's class is not fully studied percentages, and there are clearly a lot of variables in it. There's no point in taking care of the goblin scouts on the island. 45th level if you're not a craftsman. Haran thanks for the kind words, but she's all right. He prefers to talk, not fight. She notes that his wolf really looks cool, right? And she'd never seen anything like it. Ian informs her that at the moment he is the only one on the planet, on the server. The girl asks if he has a name. The hero introduces Lou, and the beauty notes that it's a very nice name. Haran asks permission to feed the hero's pet. He gives his consent. The chef gives Lou a nice steak. Ian wouldn't mind it himself. Wolf without hesitation. It consumes food, after which the system notifies that its survivability increases by 200 units. This amazes the hero. Haran asks what happened, and he explains that Lou's stats have increased. He suggests that this is the effect of her cooking. Haran explains that when cooking skills 
when they reach an advanced level, the prepared food gives a buff depending on it. Hero. Amazed at this news. The thing is, Lu has 1400 health points right now, huh? The added 200 cooking points is a significant bonus. The hero makes a note that with, you should make friends with her. After that, he turns to Lu, asking if it was delicious. Eat it all in one. He approaches Heron, asking if there is anything for him. She replies that she doesn't. Now, the beauty declares that she will definitely do something to him after the quest, after which, asks not to be jealous. Jan asks if this is a promise. At this time, a squad had already arrived at the Salmer Canyon. Their enslavement leader is Hugo. He meets with Jan and Harin. He thanks them for coming, and the hero mentally notes that they are not late. Other players look upset about what is happening. The hero thinks this is strange, but he decides not to dwell on it because they will still fight separately. Crowd. Goblin attacks the squad. The leader encourages everyone to attack them. Harren decides to clarify. Is this normal? The hero replies that everything will be fine and she just needs to do what he wants, said. The beauty has doubts because in this case, he will be the only one who will fight. Jan explains that this is not really the case because it will also come in handy because it's impact. The shield deals a lot of damage. Mentally, the guy notes that because of her fear, her skills, connected to the shield, very well leveled up. The plan is very simple. Harren will take on the role of a tank and he will also deal all the damage. Level. It's relatively high for a goblin camp. Also, her skill with the shield. Comparable to a level 60 skill. In other words, she is not afraid of death. How? Once Harren distracted the entire goblin crowd, he and Lu would take all the experience. The guy decides. Make the best use of it in battle. In fact, it is a meat shield. Harren states that she trusts him. The guy notices to himself that there is still some minimal probability. Her death. He asks you to trust Lu, not him. With this plan, she will also gain a lot of experience. If he doesn't die, the guy tries to convince himself that it's not because of her cool, delicious cooking. The girl creates a shield, which is hit by goblin attacks. The hero decides to find out how much it will continue at this rate. She asks not to worry about her, noting that there is still about 10 minutes. Ian admits to himself that he's better than he thought, and maybe he's too much. Worried a lot about someone at level 40. Realizing that everything was all right with her, the guy turned his attention to her. Pay attention to your pet. Lu completely dominated the goblin warriors, even though they were much more powerful than the goblin warriors. Stronger than the goblin scouts. The experience was shared between Harin, Lu, and Nim, but even so, it wasn't enough. Very much. The levels were increasing at an incredible rate, and it was just amazing. One of the heroes who was watching the battle was trying to figure out who they were. He immediately noticed that Ian looks like a summoner, but he's already high enough to be here. Guy. He invites Sokol and Milan to take a look at it. The guy with the spear doesn't understand why it's necessary and what's going on there. The blonde man points to the wolf that's tearing the poor goblins apart and asks them what they think about it. Milan notes that this is a summoner, but a falcon. Turns out to be more savvy. He decides to explain that for hunting in this place, a minimum of level 40 is required, but this wolf's combat abilities look higher. Level 60. The blonde guy notices that the summoner class has only recently appeared, right? That he should have a maximum of level 20. Milan agrees with this. Sokol admits that he read on forums that a proven player of the highest level was the 17th or 18th level. They have a question brewing, what kind of wolf does that one use? The kid. The falcon wonders if it might be an artifact with summoning magic. The blonde one. Decides to share your opinion. He emphasizes that Ian uses his staff in hand-to-hand -hand combat. In a fight, so he probably doesn't have offensive spells, which means that they're not very effective. Beginners. 
Milan and Sokol tense up, asking if he's going to kill the player. Sokol asks, You can't be like that. The girl also believes that her companions are behaving too recklessly. She thinks it's not worth it if they don't get good gear from them. Penalty for Killing a player is quite serious, and it will not be easy to restore the lost reputation. The blonde says that her friends should think about it again because one magic artifact. Summoning will bring them at least 20 million gold, which is 6 to 7 million apiece. Each of them, and 20 million gold is more than 40 million one. The blonde man notices. What if they did it now, they wouldn't have to worry about their equipment, at least. At least up to level 80. In addition, the blonde has a brilliant battle plan. Lu continues to tear goblins right and left. Jan notices that he will soon reach the 30th level. Each player gains two class skills every 30 levels. Him. I wonder what he'll get. There is information on the forums that these skills are completely random. But this is not the case. One of them will probably be associated with the most upgraded skill, but the other one will not be. It will be random. Right now, the hero's best skill is average training, which has already reached third level. This skill is directly related to increasing the pet's potential, so it can be assumed that the hero has received a skill related to potential. At this point, the hero is attacked by a goblin. Ian easily dodges the attack, lazily fending it off with his own, with a staff. The guy hopes that his random skill will be somehow connected with the farm. Haran reports that she has 5% of her holy power left. The hero orders Lu to help the girl. By protecting her, the pet breaks down to help the beauty, starting to mow down the little green ones. Little men. When it's all over, the cook thanks the wolf for saving him, and the wolf bows its head. To be petted. Janu notices in his mind that this furball has gotten along too well with the others. Nay, he wasn't so nice to him. The guy decides that he will deal with it after it's finished. The quest. Lu turns her intense gaze to the owner as if sensing the angry outbursts. Emotions emanating from it. Another green man comes out of the goblin tent. He has a beard and a staff in his hands. He's not. They understand how these people dare to set foot here. He orders his subordinates to kill everyone. Then he raises his staff to the sky, concentrating his energy. The spell casts on. Squad, forcing them to retreat. The leader of the party realizes that this is most likely the leader of the tribe. He calls for loading all the guns, because this battle will not end until they kill the leader. Hero notices that the morale of the allies has increased by 30%. The system notifies that all stats were upgraded by 10% within 20 minutes. Jan calls. Lu attack the chief. He breaks through a crowd of goblins. The chief declares that he is just a beast, raised by people. Lu deals critical damage to the war chief. Goblin chieftain gets a thousand. 212 damage points, which is 0.7% of his total supply. Health. The goblin chieftain also takes 243 damage points per second for the duration of the battle. 10 seconds. The king calls everyone to attack. The squad leader uses his skill to deal a huge amount of damage to the goblin chieftain, after which the goblin leader will have no choice. The last one is left with 52,071 health points, that's 30%, from the total number. The goblin chieftain roars loudly, after which the system reports that the goblin chieftain has been killed. The goblins fell into a berserk state. The hero quickly goes to the side, but he is hit by a chain explosion, causing 680 damage. 4 damage points. Jan is in pain, so he decides to heal. Then the guy is enveloped in greenish light. Glow. Harin was the one who cast the healing light on him, restoring him to 1,020 health. The hero turns to the girl, then thanks her. The hero summons Lu, after which, orders him to distract the goblin chieftain, but be careful. In the hands of a guy, a bow appears. He pulls on the bowstring, trying to find a weak spot. 
the enemy is going to use your magic. It didn't escape the hero that the goblin leader had become much more aggressive, so he can't make a mistake. While the goblin chieftain is distracted by other opponents, Lu, rushing towards him, Ian chooses the right moment to attack. He takes a shot, the arrow flies through, ranks and caters right into the chief's eye. He falls on his back, leaving the game world. Presenters. They stop, trying to figure out what happened. They don't believe it ended so easily. And fast. When the system notifies about the end of the quest, everyone is happy. Ian gets 6,740 exp for killing the goblin chief. Also, his fame has increased by 124 points because he made the most contribution to the task. The hero increases his level until the 30th. The system notifies you when you receive two special skills, a skill for summoning and spatial distortion. The squad leader approaches the hero, noting that it was he who won, the goblin chieftain. He held out his hand, thanking him for his help. A man with a lion's mane confesses that they didn't suffer any serious losses thanks to him. The hero declares that they have succeeded only thanks to the bravery of his boys. The man asks the guy to be more careful when he, it will keep coming back. The hero strokes his pet and the leader announces the end of the task. Ian decides to finally take a look at his skills. The first one, as he expected, is related to potential. Skill to summon allows you to assign a random skill to summon every time. When a skill is used, the summoner's potential will decrease by 20. Using this skill on a pet that already has the skill replaces the previous choice. Improving a skill, there is a chance to improve its class. The hero assigns a skill to Lu and then checks it. Potential, that one is equal to 6. The guy realizes that evolution requires a potential equal to 100. Ian wants to give him his skill to increase the potential because Lu needs to be faster. Evolve, but it will affect his skills. The second skill allows you to swap with your pet if it doesn't take damage. It's a bit of a shame that Ian didn't get an attacker or a slowing skill, but this skill will definitely come in handy in battle. Still, he got pretty cool skills, so the hero is happy.